Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm going to say hello everybody today and also you folks that are watching on Facebook, YouTube, welcome into the political forum. And of course we've already had the August 4th election and of course we've got runoffs coming up and we are excited about having a very special guest with us today. This guy's kind of excited today. I got David Wayne Crum. He is in the runoff for tax assessor for Tishomingo County. And David, good to see you. Good to see you, Jack. Good the world, here. you know, I, I've always called him world famous, David Wayne Crum. And of course, uh, you probably can uh, live up to that now, getting in the runoff. So I want to say congratulations. That's awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And, and I want to say thank you to the voters of Tishomingo County uh, that give me the opportunity to make it to the uh, August 25th runoff. And thank you for the uh, other candidates in the race, the clean race that we've uh, run so far. It's a humbling experience knowing that the people in Tishomingo County entrusted me to uh, have the opportunity to be in this August 25th runoff. Uh, and I just want to take this minute to, to say thank you once again. Uh, but I want to ask you, the, the ones that uh, voted this time, I ask you that you would come out again on August 25th and support Wayne Crum. Uh, and the ones that voted for my candidates, I ask that you would uh, take another look, maybe consider uh, David Wayne Crum on August 25th when you go out and vote again. Thank you a lot. Jack Ivey once again live with uh, Mr. Wayne Crum here today. And uh, Wayne, I know you're thanking all the voters that came out. A little over 51% I think actually came out and voted. And we're hoping and praying that you folks will get out and vote again. There's some really, really big races. And of course, uh, the biggest race as far as you're concerned is the tax assessor race. And of course, I know uh, this guy right here has worked really hard for you vote and he'll continue to work hard. So if you're watching us on TV 97, I want you to consider Wayne Crum as your next uh, tax assessor for Tishomingo County. He'll work hard for you. When it comes down to work, uh, this guy uh, works as probably hard as anybody in Tishomingo County. But before I tell you about how hard he does work, I'm going to let him introduce himself one more time to you folks that might be watching for the first time. We've had this uh, YouTube and TV 97 audience has just grown tremendous, mm -hmm. you know, from all the rallies. It's got bigger and bigger every week. And thanks to people like you for being a part of that and uh, won't you tell them a little, a little bit about Wayne Crum and then we'll get into the details of this big race. Okay, <clears throat> my name is David Wayne Crum. Uh, I'm from the town of Burnsville on the other end of the county I guess you would say. Uh, I am 44 years old. I've been married to my wife uh, Lynette Rory Crum for uh, be 21 years in September the 3rd so uh, if she'll put up with me that you know a few more days we'll make it to that September the 3rd. Uh, this election <laughs> Uh, this running around and stuff makes it uh, tough on us sometimes, but she's hung in there with me and, and uh, been a trooper and we've uh, knocked on a lot of doors and talked to a lot of people. Uh, but anyway, uh, as I told you, I'm 44 years old, married to my wife Lynette. We have two children, uh, Ellen and Hannah, they are 14, 18 and 14 uh, years old. Uh, and we live in the big town of Burnsville. My parents are Bobby and David Crum. Uh, they live in Strickland. Uh, my mother-in-law was George Rory, and my father-in-law was the late John Rory. So uh, that's just a little bit about uh, about Wayne Crum. So you know more about him. And uh, if he's out at a political rally and you had some awesome lemonade, it came from the Crum family. And I want to say hats off to whoever in the family had that recipe. That was really, really awesome. And I know a little extra trouble, but uh, yeah. uh, the lemonade was good. Can you take credit for that or uh, somebody else no. in the family? No, uh, Lynette and the girls took care of that. And they... they Ma uh, they manned the table, if you will, giving out the lemonade, so they've done a good job with that. And it was awesome. So thank you, uh, girls, for being a part of that. You know, I talked uh, just a minute ago about you working hard. You know, this particular office in county government probably requires you to be out of the office more than some of the other mm -hmm. uh, county officials. You're out in the sun, you're out in the hot, the rain. Uh, you're no stranger to work. Uh, no, sir, I'm not, Jack. I run my own business. I've been in the lawn care business for about... Uh, 15 years now and I'll share with you my, my story as we, we began this thing back uh, when the the campaign all the uh, what's the word I'm political rallies. all the political rallies began uh, I told the story 15 years ago I walked out of my job in a factory in Corinth Mississippi and began my business of lawn mowing uh, and a man told me he said you can't make a living mowing grass I said I can make a living mowing grass and I will and I've done that for 15 years now provided for my family in that so I have a strong work ethic because the lawn business is not an easy business. It's a lot of uh, hard work and getting out there, uh, getting after it each day. So uh, I'm not afraid of work, and I, I believe I do have a strong uh, work ethic. Of course, we're talking with Mr. Wayne Crum, who wants to be your next tax assessor for Tishomingo County. And 
You, know, you talk about being from Burnsville, of course, TV 97 goes from Belmont, Golden, Dennis, Chishamingo, Iuka, Burnsville. So we got folks watching all over the county. And you folks that can't get TV 97, uh, guess what? Uh, we got you covered there on YouTube, youtube.com. Just about everybody's got a smartphone or at least got a computer or iPad. You can watch this interview if you want to go back and listen to any of the political rallies. Every single political rally is there for you to listen to. And if you want to go back and listen to just Wayne's uh, speech, you can do that. If you want to listen to another candidate, you can do that. You folks down at Tishomingo that go to Tishomingo Baptist Church, awesome congregation there. This guy goes down to Tishomingo Baptist. And what's happening down at Tishomingo yeah. Baptist with the Crum family? Uh, we're staying busy and being active there in the church. Uh, um, uh, I help out on Wednesday night, kind of head up the children's uh, program, uh, the kids kindergarten through about fifth grade. So we're involved in that. Uh, me and my children, my wife, uh, very involved there at Tishomingo. Great congregation, great people uh, serving along there with uh, Brother Robbie Crane, uh, my pastor. Uh, we have a joke go that goes around that I, don't, I won't call him my pastor very much. I call him my wife's preacher. So uh, <laughs> just a little funny thing out there. But Robbie, he is my pastor, good, a good man, great, great, great man of God there. And, of course, uh, you do some uh, preaching yourself, doing Fillion. some revivals. You yeah, do, uh, do. You call yourself a bi-vocational bi pastor. Bi-vocational, yeah. I get the opportunity to, to fill in for a lot of pastors when they're out in churches that don't have preachers. I get those opportunities and, and appreciate that. Sure do. You know, running your own business, you know, we, we have a small business, you know, owning the stations here and stuff like that. And uh, uh, you got to be organized uh, to make money. you, you got to sometimes uh, watch expenses. Uh, you got to be a good leader, but you also got to have some business sense about it. And, uh, of course, you've been able to show that business uh, leadership there by, I guess, surviving out in the workforce, owning your own business for 15 mm -hmm. years. And, of course, uh, uh, you got to be a good leader and a good business person to run this uh, office that you're running for, a tax assessor. Absolutely. In my, my business, you know, like I said, I've done that uh, for 15 years, and I've, uh, I'm the CEO, I'm the weed eater, I'm the everything within that business. I do the uh, biggest part of the work myself. So, uh, you know, I, I've done everything from, you know, whatever it takes to run a business. I, I wore all the hats, if you will. Uh, in every aspect and every part of my business. And I also have uh, strong Christian leadership, as we talked about earlier there. Uh, I'm uh, attending Tishomingo Baptist now, but I have pastored a church over in Iuka for two years. Uh, I was a children's minister uh, for about six years back at Harmony Hill over in Burnsville. I've uh, been in the ministry since 2002, so uh, dealing with people, you know, in, in the ministry, you see uh, all sides of people. You deal with the tough times, you deal with the good times, so I think that experience would help me in the tax assessor's office at dealing with people uh, and, you know, being able to deal with the issues and the problems that they may have as they come to the office. Folks, election time for his runoffs is August 25th. is going to be here before you know it. Wayne Crum, our special guest here today, wants to be your next tax assessor, and you, the folks, can make that happen. But you got to get out and vote on the 25th. Uh, what would make you a good tax assessor, and also uh, uh, what kind of an office would the folks expect uh, out of Mr. Wayne Crum? And the first thing is I want to be the, the best at what I do. Uh, I hate losing. I don't. I don't want to lose. Not just in the election is not what I'm. What I mean by that is when I do something, I want to be the best uh, at what I do. I want to, you know, give it my all. When I used to play sports, uh, I hated losing more than I loved winning because I want to be successful uh, at what I do, and I think I can carry that over uh, in the tax assessor's office. I want to strive to be the best tax assessor uh, Tishomingo County has ever seen, and I believe my background uh, would help me to do that. And, the, you know, I'm sure it would take a little while, but the experience that I would gain there, uh, I believe I can be a very good uh, tax assessor and also I've been serving the people of Tishomingo County for 15 years uh, mowing grass and doing landscaping and, and it's a it's a great place to live it's a great place to work you know I chose to raise my family here uh, because it's one of the best places that I know of uh, to raise a family. Got a question uh, not putting you on the spot here but what would you expect uh, out of your staff uh, if you take over this office I know you got a uh, staff of folks that will be working for you there. What do you expect out of uh, a staff that's working for Wayne Crum? Uh, they're going to uh, be prepared. They're going to treat the people that come in that office with courtesy uh, and respect. They're going to uh, be willing to sit down and listen to you and, and talk to you and may not always have the answer that you want, uh, but we're going to be straight with you. Uh, and things in that office, uh, if I'm allowed to be the tax assessor, we're going to do things right. We're going to do the things uh, the right way. It's going to be professional. Uh, we're going to assess the properties by the guidelines that are that are mandated for each property. We're going to do that 
uh, fairly. There will be no, uh, no partiality. I mean, we're going to do it fairly whether you own two, th two acres or 2,000 acres. We're going to treat you uh, the same way, and we're going to assess those properties the way that they're supposed to be assessed. Wayne Crum, our special guest, and uh, Wayne, I know uh, I was nervous on August the 4th, and I wasn't even running, but uh, we just had an awesome turnout at the Tishomingo County Courthouse. It was packed. Uh, the hallways were packed. There were mm -hmm. people outside, and I'm going to say it was a lot of fun for Denise and I, not only to be with all you candidates all summer, but uh, we, I guess, um, ended it there with giving some good election returns mm -hmm. there, so you could actually listen on your computer or iPad or your telephone and, and uh, also your cell phone as well. Uh, to the election return so we try to keep them up and we'll be back there on the 25th and I know you're hoping we're going to be handing out uh, and giving out good results mm -hmm. all over Tishomingo County for Wayne Crum. So Wayne Mom will let you ask for the folks vote out there and if you got anything else you want to tell the folks do me a favor uh, Wayne Crum needs your help. Uh, tell us what else you might want to pass along before we uh, yeah. ease on out of here. Yeah, Wayne. as we've as we've been out on the campaign trail this summer, I've uh, the experience the question of experiences came up many times. I don't have the experience in the tax assessor's office, but I can tell you this: uh, that to be a certified appraiser is a two-week course. Uh, and that's not something that would be difficult for me uh, to gain uh, in, going into that office. Also, uh, in November, uh, there is an orientation that prepares you for that office. So experience, uh, you know, I, I don't think we should base everything on experience because uh, I've told you this before. Uh, many of you started your job that you're doing without experience, but you've worked hard and you give it all you got to do that job to the best of your ability. And that's exactly uh, what I would do in the tax assessor's office. I would work hard and do the very best that I can do to serve you, the people of Tishomingo County. Sounds good. Wayne Crum, special guest. Don't forget the 25th. Uh, go ahead and make your plans right now. You'll be voting at the same place. And remember now, uh, if you voted on the Democratic side, which is mm -hmm. what we're talking about mm -hmm. here, you got to vote there again. You can't switch over to Republican or back and forth. Now, in November, it doesn't matter. But if you voted Democratic the last time, you got to vote Democratic this mm -hmm. time. But uh, you're in the, uh, your opponent's in the Democratic primary, so it wouldn't matter anyway. But uh, remember, Wayne Crum on the 25th of August uh, needs your vote. I'm going to let you uh, ask for the folks' vote out there. Folks, Mr. Wayne Crum. All right. Once again, August 25th, I would appreciate your support. I'd like for you to, to uh, go out and consider Wayne Crum uh, as your next tax assessor. It's very important that we go out on the 25th because in my race, there is no November for us. Uh, it's August 25th. It's winner take all. The one with the most votes on August 25th uh, will be the next tax assessor of Tishomingo County. And I ask that you would consider me, uh, David Wayne Crum, as your next tax assessor. I have not uh, had the opportunity to knock on everyone's door, and I will not be able to do that. And, but we're working hard and trying to do that. My family uh, and friends are helping us out with that. So uh, if we haven't seen you, uh, I hope to see you soon. If I don't, I ask that you would take this uh, uh, as a personal plea that you would consider me uh, for your tax assessor. And uh, just a little funny to go along with this, if you see the red Ford truck, I drive a red Ford truck, uh, and you see us pull up, I like fried chicken, banana pudding, and sweet tea. So uh, maybe you'll <laughs> see me coming up. Uh, just a little funny there, but you know, uh, we're trying to see as many people as we can. So if you would bear with us and, and hope to see you soon. And uh, you'll be in a hurry, though, is the problem. So you want them to have it in a to-go plate? That <laughs> yeah, if you got to-go boxes, that would be good because we got three weeks to see as many people as we can. So, so you got to um, move on. got to right? move on. So hope to see you soon. Wayne Crum, tax assessor, August 25th. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Appreciate right. you. Great yes, job. Sir. And mm -hmm. we appreciate you coming in. Wayne wasted no time getting back in front of you folks uh, on the political forum, and we appreciate him for that. And that shows his interest to be your next tax assessor is high on the list. For Denise on the Controls, Wayne Crummer, special guest, and you folks out there watching, don't forget to share this interview with all your friends and family. Get the word out, and of course, we encourage you to do that. And the political forum, of course, is, can be seen on TV 97. It's also on Facebook. It's on YouTube. And don't forget, we'll have election returns on the 25th night. You can go to WRMGRadio.com, punch a uh, pitch up of my old picture there. You can click on it, and you'll be able to listen to it live. And once again, thank you for being out there, and you all have a great day.